Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. My name is Andrew Renner and we're back with a how to planet zoo. Um, today we're going to be talking about elevating paths. Um, so in your paths menu, um, I've already got like a small, small kind of sample zoo um, just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, I like to have on angle snap, um, which then lets me have a little bit more control um, over how I how the paths look. Um, so I like doing stuff like this. Um, gives me a little bit more control. I'm not particularly good at doing it freehand um, like some people are, so I'm much rather doing things like this. Um, again, it's not perfect, but I think it uh, works, works well for me. Gives me some good opportunities for reasonable designs. Um, but what we're going to talk about is um, basically being able to raise paths. So what you can do, say that we wanted to have a, a, a platform for guests to be able to see on top. So if we put this here, and then we want to raise the path. What you do is you hold shift on your keyboard and then you try and click and you can see that the little path button changes from the path to an arrow. And then you can drag up to set the steepness that you want it to be. So I'm gonna go for two. Um, so if it's uh, one, it just creates a flat slope. If it's two, it creates steps. So I'm gonna create a step. Then you can actually curve your path as well. So let's curve the path. Let's get this going down back to flat. Um, and then I'm gonna change the width because I want a bigger platform. And then I can create something like this. So then guests can go up to the top of the platform and see in over the exhibit um, to be able to see into it. Um, the same principle works for um, being able to tunnel underneath. If you wanted to um, actually go underneath, um, all you need to do is just build the hole and then get the path going underneath there. Um, and that works the exact same way. Um, but yeah. That's just a quick little how to to do that. It's all about your shift key. Um, so it's usually to the left of your Z, two to the left of your Z if you're not that familiar with um, QWERTY keyboards. Um, but yeah, that lets you do some more interesting things. Um, I like building these kind of things over exhibits just to give a little bit of a different um, viewing platform. I know a lot of you do too, or have been trying to do that, so hopefully this has helped you out. If there's anything else that you're struggling with in Planet Zoo and you would like to see a how-to, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to be able to create some more videos for you that will help that. Um, the uh, video I've done on one-way glass has become really popular, so I'm hoping that you guys, if there is anything else that you're struggling with, you let me know, and I can create these videos. I love doing them for you guys, so um, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, Ring the bell and I'll catch you in the next video.